I'll take yours. Jeffrey, would you have done it if Lady Macbeth did you know? I have to say I would not because this, this lovely wife that you could call her degraded me and made me feel like worthless. Pretty much no like, divorce me if I didn't kill this dude. And what kind of wife does that? Come on. I'm not here, <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of morals, you didn't have to do it. How are we going to get up in society if it weren't for your actions? We're already the thing of karma. We don't need to be anything else. You just the power hungry whore. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that you do not actually have the court. <laughs> Alright, who has the next question? Julia. I'm pretty sure this is in a time period where women still can't divorce their husbands, so what's your explanation for that? Could it? She says that she she said that when the play was written, you couldn't have been divorced. So she says the divorce thing doesn't stand. What do you have to say to that accusation? That she couldn't have left you if she wanted to, since you just claimed that you did it because she would have left you. You claim that you killed Duncan because Hannah would have left you. Sorry, Lady Macbeth. So. Julia said, but Lady Macbeth couldn't have left Macbeth, even if she wanted. So doesn't that ring a little false? Yes, but I mean, if she really wanted to leave, she could freaking leave. It's not like the court's going to go hunt her down, and it's not like Macbeth's going to be like too, too long. Um, in this time period. Okay. Okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, she couldn't leave. Who gives a crap? So what would have been your motivation behind doing it if she could have left you? What power would she have had over you to make you feel it? She could have been like a terrible wife. Like she would have held that over me the whole time. Not been a loving and compassionate wife. This, this is completely irrelevant to the topic of wives. Yeah, we're kind of a little off topic, so Kate. This is Paul. Could you describe your feelings after the incident that happened that night? Well, I would like to say I felt bad, but it accomplished my goals. I set forth a goal to gain a new title, and that's what I did. So I felt happy. Ash, you just said you felt bad, and then you said you felt bad. I, mean, I would like to feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> but I don't. Well, generally, when someone likes to do something, they're able to do it. I would have been able to kill Duncan if he had not looked like my father. That, because Duncan has no connection to me personally, he, yes, he is king, but he is indis he's disposable because I need that title as queen. So you would have been able to kill him, so are you saying you deserve all the blame when your husband does not? Oh, no. He's my husband. He takes it up. I just sit back and tell him what to do. He killed him himself. Are you saying you deserve no blame for the incident when you clearly influence his actions? Are you admitting to motivating him to murder King Duncan? He's the man. He makes his own decisions. I'm just his wife. He had all the power to make his own So if he didn't kill him, would you have? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the law and order noise. Anybody else want a question, or do I start pulling people randomly? Alright, so if nobody else has a question. I have to let them dressed ridiculous. So, so Lady Macbeth, was it your idea, or was it your husband's, to kill Duncan? <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it for a second. Yeah. Mutual decision. It was influenced by both of us because both of us had the ambition for going forth and gaining a title. But we both influenced the decision to go through with the title. But you just said that your husband has a whole lot that he should take to punishment for everything that happened that night. But if you had motives, then you should have punishment as well. Was I holding the dagger that killed him? 
But did you influence him to kill him with the dagger? I am simply a woman. He makes his own decisions. As a wife, I have no power over my husband. If he felt threatened by you, maybe you could have killed him if he didn't kill Duncan. If he feels threatened by me, he has a lot of issues of his own. <laughs> Does anybody have a question for Macbeth? So, are you willing to admit that it was completely your wife's premeditation because obviously you could get off on lesser charges and you had no idea of planning it? You had no part of it. I would say that although I did do it, the wife planned it out for me and it motivated me completely to do it. I stated, I stated that I did not want to do it, it was not right. And in objection to what she said, it was not a mutual decision. I didn't want to do it, but she pretty much called me a puss and told me to do it. Alright, someone who has not yet asked a question. There's this whole table, so um, you guys haven't asked questions yet, so. Do you feel that your wife should be punished for her actions? I feel it. I'm punished for my actions. My wife should be equally punished. So, you did kill him, correct? It was you who stabbed him, right? Yes. Okay. Now, what happened to the daggers? Put him on the dead bodyguard on his guard. Well, not dead, but not now, and made it look like they stabbed him. So, not only did you murder the king, you framed two people for doing it. Yes. Was that your idea? No, that was her idea. To save your skin. I did this to simply protect my husband afterwards, because he went through with a plan to kill him. Yes, I may have. We, as a, as a couple, we decided. But yes, maybe it would be best, as our status, to dispose of King Duncan. And yes, I may have planted this daggers on the new servant, but that was only in the protection of my husband, who had the wife I had the duty to do. And it is necessary. So you're saying you took the daggers from him and placed them, correct? Therefore, you have physical contact with the crime. It wasn't just him. But I had no far in killing him. I did not stab him. No, but you helped cover it up. To save so, him. But my you did help cover it up. That's Therefore, you are connected to the murder. It seems as though the children... Objection, not a question. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, speculation. Would you say that you were somewhat present throughout the entire crime? That in some way, you had some sort of motivation throughout the entire crime? There you go. Well, as a wife, I'm supposed to... to support my husband in his decisions, and he decided to kill him. So I sat back. I could not talk my husband out of doing this. As his decision. I have no place to, to argue against him on doing this. You most certainly could have talked me out of doing it, but because you talked me into doing it. So you could have just been like, I don't want you to do this. You don't have to prove your manliness to me. And then, no, no king would have been slain. Well, now you are. Yeah. So what's the matter? Oh, yeah. You're relevant. <laughs> Look at this, she's just like, oh, right. okay. <laughs> Nobody at this table has asked a question, so you three guys each have to ask at least one. Okay, I'm in this right now. Who tampered with the evidence? Who tampered with the evidence? Which one? Who was it? What, what I'm asking both of you. Tampered means touching uh, I know, I know. or changing the physical I'm state of the evidence. Woman. You can... Then why did you ask the question? <laughs> because... If you're an educated woman, why did you ask questions? Hmm? Educated women know the answer to the questions. Why did you ask questions? I would have asked to. Who tampered with the evidence? <laughs> badgering the witness. Yeah, witness badgering me, sir. So back to the subject. Sir? Sir? <laughs> sir? sir I'm in a skirt. <laughs> you're sir right now. Sorry. Okay. Who tampered with the evidence? <laughs> Lady Macbeth tampered with evidence. So that's on um, destruction of justice and tampered with the evidence. Ooh, and you can get perjury if you don't answer these questions clearly. So back to the subject. Who conspired for the murder? Who conspired? Do you know what conspired means, educated woman? Yeah. All right, and who conspired? You both did. You both conspired, so that's conspiracy to commit murder for both of you. Moving on, who had something to gain from this murder? Who had something to gain? Both of us. 
Both of you have something to gain, so that gives you both motive. Moving on. <laughs> why do it now? Why, why, would somebody, why would the king get murdered now? What was the reason for that? Cause. Was it because both of you had something to gain? Needing the witness. <laughs> no, I got to do this. It's too easy, so why? why do it now? No answer? I had no decision when the king was killed. I did not place it. I did not place it. I just you just admitted to conspiring earlier, so now you're admitting that you had nothing to do oh, with no. the time of the incident? Oh, I conspired. I didn't plan. I, you didn't plan? I gave an idea, and he went through it. Conspiring is planning. I, I thought you were an educated woman. I just said I planned, which I conspired, which I admitted. So now you admit it. Okay. So why do it now? You didn't answer that question. You did Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Just as time as good as any. Are you, are you done, Mr. Lawyer? Just one. Can we have a less aggressive attorney? Yeah. Prosecute him. Do you feel bad for finding the two body of this? Well, I didn't frame him, you know. She kind of framed him, so she probably should ask that to her. She wouldn't do it. But. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Partially yes, because they were they were both people and they didn't commit the crime. But in relation to me and my title, they were irrelevant. They were certain. So why make him go through? Okay, you just hire somebody. I he made his own decision to kill. I just helped plan the idea. Why put it in the state then? Because as my husband, he's supposed to be reliable, and I cannot rely on someone else for this deed. I think reliability takes a little bit, you know, you can like stop with the reliability when you're asking someone to kill someone. <laughs> Are there any other questions before we move on? Thanks. Sure. You, you can stop.